everybody, my name is the Doctor 11 and welcome back to another video. Behind me you can see my model railway, something which I've been working on for quite a long time now, over a year, and you guys have been with me the whole time. Very happy with this progress, but today I have some engines in a box as I am going to be visiting an absolutely phenomenal model railway. Engines are ready in the boxes, ready for me to take the Great Model Railway journeys on tour once again. So here we are. Behind me is just a portion of this model railway, which is set in uh, a town in North Wales called Conwy, uh, that's obviously got a very famous castle which was one of the first things built here. Well, the first thing was actually the railway bridge here, built in 1999. So this railway has been a work in progress for around 20 years, and it's absolutely incredible. I'm going to show you through a few of the things in Conway, as well as some of the other things around there just now. So here's a close-up of the castle. It's, it's very, very good. We've got a 153 on the layout. Uh, here's a Reva 153, as well as my GWR class 158, which obviously isn't very accurate because up here, well nowadays they run Transport for Wales and Avanti trains, I believe. Um, but there is an Arriva one, which I suppose you probably still see. 153s don't really come around here, I don't think, but 158s do, so that's accurate other than the livery. Uh, but yes, around here you've got a lovely goods yard. So this is set in the 1960s. Um, so if, if you went to have a look at this uh, Conway nowadays, you probably wouldn't find a lot of this stuff. But you've got a bit of the town that goes into a backdrop there. Um, so it, it, it's it's really, really good. Um, and then Conway kind of ends around here and it goes to a more city industrial area over there, which I'm going to show you now. So yes, we leave Conway here. And then we come back here, which kind of goes to a more industrial city scape. We'll see one of the ends of the 158, I believe, coming up here now. There we go. 158 coming through the city. 158s were introduced in, you know, late 80s, so, you know, we're not too far out. You've got a big, uh, there we go, 153 comes through the big city station. Got some sheds down there with some locomotives in it. And there's just a lot of track going on, which is fantastic, because, you know, that's what we like. And I'll show you a bit more. Here comes a 158, and I'll follow it around this way a little bit, past the strange bobble hat boy. As we come around here. Coming into Llandidno Junction, which is a, a big station, so you can get to Hollyhead on the Conway line. So this is kind of where all the engines sit. And that's the 153 again, getting both of them at once again. We're doing good. <laughs> but then, yeah, comes all this way. And there is a bit more around the back, which we'll show when there's some engines on there. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's, it's really, really good. Hopefully you guys are liking what you see. <laughs> Here comes the lights of the 153, and there we go. So I'll come back now since we've got three of my engines on the line. Uh, three is kind of the limit if you want it to be safe, otherwise if you have four you've got to watch out for a junction, a uh, crossover at the other side. But I've got Tornado here, I've got the 158 coming past it now. So there we go. I'm going to continue following Tornado because we've got Franco up the other end. We go past Llandedno Junction. Uh, we'll have... Then we've got Franco pulling a really lovely big freight train. So I've got uh, Mr. Olympic in the in the siding as well, in the bay platform. Here's the big junction bit, so that's why you can't really have four, because there's a lot going over here. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep going this way, because Franco's going to come around in the big city area in a minute. So we've got Tornado on a seven-coach train, I believe. <laughs> And then this is obviously the, the railway bridge. Tornado is going quite slowly right now, but we'll get Tornado to here. There it is. And then in the background, we can see the 158 going into the big station. And we can also see Franco coming out. It's very cool. I love being able to see all this. And now the 158 has made it onto this part. I'm going to watch it go into the bridge and then I'm going to watch the 
tail lights go away in the distance. There we go. And now on the back of the layout we've got the Flying Scotsman. I can't even make sure I get this uh, footage now because the Scotsman kept coming off the line around the, uh, near the big city area. Of course, get the Scotsman. We haven't really seen this area. So Scotsman over this viaduct. And then off the viaduct into the tunnel mouth. Which is new since our last game, so very, very cool. Coming back to the, the darker area. Because you get a good view of the 158's lights. Which, uh, of course, I very much love. As you will have known. I'm going to wait down by this bridge so you can see it coming through the valley. Here it comes. There we go. And then it's going to come past here. And it's going to go off down that way. There it goes. Bye bye. Over the bridge. And it's the big stick. Uh, now I'm kind of in the corner where the tunnel where we saw Flying Scotsman going to. There's a new engine on the line. One of, well, not one of mine. That one was going to be good to see. See this rushing over the big set of points. Coming through Sandino Junction, past the 153, and then we've got this big train of trucks from Franco, and then there's the Flying Scotsman, and it's going to go off into the sunlight. Bye bye. Yeah. And there it goes off towards the line, and the rest of the line. Now it's Mallard's turn to come across the front this way. Here we go. Mallard. Can we run the thro Oh, one of the coaches has derailed. Okay. Okay, and we're back. I have fixed the derailment. Ah. Now Mallard is going on her way through Colby Station and into the tunnel towards the big station over there. Just in time for us to catch another locomotive coming around this way. We've already seen, but we might as well see it again because we love trains. You're right, Bubble Hat Boy. Lots of trains. And then here's the 158. There we go. Yeah. Fabulous. Yeah. So here we've got a Fowler tank engine on, and the Mallow going over the bridge. Look at that. With a little freight train coming through this way, underneath Conway. Away from the city and into Conway. So here we have the 158. I'm going to get it going to the big station with its tail lights behind. Love that shot. And here we have the Fowler tank engine. I'm lying. It's uh, the, the passenger train that we've seen. So there we go. So I've got my Class 395 Mr. Olympic going off into that tunnel over there. And then if I come back this way, come to the, this big station here with this lovely bridge outside of it, we should have the Mallard on her way. Here she comes. Mallard going off in that direction. But yeah, I thought it was important we would get a bit of Mallard coming out of that awesome big station with another, with this locomotive again, going underneath. Wow. It's pretty good, some of the last footage I get, but it's honestly, it's a truly phenomenal railway and I hope you guys have seen this today, because the detail on it is, is, is serious, it's really, really, really good, so I hope you've in, enjoyed looking at this. Right, it's the end of my visit here, thank you so much for having me, I've had a brilliant time, the railway is absolutely incredible. Thank you very much. Yeah. Well, you know, it's a pleasure, thanks for coming and it's uh, nice to see somebody enjoying trains as much as I do. Yes. And, um, you know, as I say, I don't really run trains very often, so it's just nice to give it a go, a good, good run, and I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. No, I have. It's been absolutely fantastic. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. So it's quite bright on the layout now, but I'll leave it here. Thank you for watching this video, and I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.